the end of every Coptic year, the last two gospel readings are about the end of the world. And as Abuna was reading, and you hear the words that are being read, there's nothing unfamiliar about it. The context of this passage is the disciples were admiring the temple and the structure of the temple. And the big stones and the high ceilings, and they were just telling Christ, look at how amazing this structure is. He says, I want to tell you that you're not going to see one stone upon the other very soon. And he's telling them this one week before his crucifixion. He's already telling them the Son of Man is going to be lifted up. The Son of Man is going to be betrayed into the hands of sinners. He's going to be scourged and killed. And by the way, it's also going to be the end of the world very soon. And as we were reading, we heard that nation will rise against nation, kingdom will rise against kingdom. There will be earthquakes and famines and so many things. Are any of these words strange to today's conditions? If you turn on the news, you're going to hear all these things that are happening today. Christ in another gospel says you can discern the weather. If I told you there's going to be a storm tomorrow, a hurricane or a tornado, everyone is going to make the proper arrangements. Wear the proper clothes, take the best shelter, make sure that everything is taken care of because there's a stor storm coming. He says you can discern the weather, but you can't discern the times. How many of us, when we hear these words, we adjust our lives accordingly? We say, Christ said that the end is going to come when nation rises against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and famine and earthquake, and children return against their parents, and Christians will be hated by all men. Are any of these things not happening? They're all happening. But my fear is, many of us have not adjusted our lives accordingly. Christ is saying, if these are the signs, in khalas, it's the end. Have you adjusted, adjusted your life as if, possibly, today might be the last day of your life? Our church theme for this year is one year to live. We're already at the end of August, that's it, four more months. And this may, may, may be the end of your life. Four more months. One year to live. You have four more months to live. How would your life look if you really believed that possibly this could be the last liturgy you pray? That possibly this may be the last time you take communion. This may be the last time you see your brothers and sisters here in this congregation today. How would you live your life differently? You can discern the weather, but you cannot discern the times. Be careful that we don't become like these people. Christ is telling the disciples, you're admiring this great structure, but it's going to be, not one stone is going to be left upon the other. This kingdom that the disciples were hoping that Christ was going to establish on earth, and He was going to be this great king, and they were going to be His right and His left hand, Christ is saying, this is the wrong kingdom. My kingdom is elsewhere. My kingdom is in heaven. You want to be a part of my kingdom? You start preparing yourself for my kingdom in the next life. I fear that many of us live day to day thinking, Abuna, look, I'm saving for a big house. Maybe I just got married. Maybe I just finished school. Or I just got a new job. My life is just starting. We just have grandkids. We just have all these things to enjoy. I still have a lot more to go. Ever since I became a priest and I get calls of people who are sick, I'm reminded every day when maybe a mother calls me and tells me that my two-year-old has leukemia. I'm going to come pray. Did you ever think that your two-year-old was going to have leukemia? Did you ever think you're going to have to call Abuna for your beautiful baby to come pray when they're two years old because they're very sick? 
You never thought. Or did you ever think that that last checkup at the doctor, the doctor was going to tell you that you have a tumor. You have something that you never thought you had. And all of a sudden, everything changes. And you're saying, but I have all these plans for my life. I want to plan my retirement. I want to take these vacations. I want to see the whole world. I want to do all these amazing things. Christ tells us that the sun is going to come as a thief in the night. You have to be prepared and live every day like today is your last. Like these are going to be the last times you step into this church. How are you going to pray in the liturgy? How are you going to stand before God? What are you going to say? You're going to want to become right with God. And you're going to want to make everything clear. The relationships that have been broken, you want to reconcile them. The sins that you have committed to sinning and you want to continue sinning in, you're going to leave this church and say, no more. The old has gone, behold, new things have come. I want to become a new creation. I want to be a new being. My brothers and sisters, we have to live our lives like today is the last. St. Anthony, every day, used to have this rule. He would say with St. Paul, I die daily. Today is going to be my last day. These are going to be the last prayers I'm going to say. This is going to be the last time I'm going to put my head down on my pillow. Really, it takes a heart that is right with God to discern the times, to make adjustments accordingly. Maybe I'm fighting with my wife or my husband or my children or my co-workers or whatever they may be. It's all ending. Fix it. It's all ending. But Abuna, I'm saving all this. Khalas, you might die tomorrow. You might die today. All these plans, ya am khalas. I was looking at the passage thinking, how I'm going to teach and explain the different verses. Explain E. Tomorrow, this, this might be the last sermon we hear. No need to explain and to teach. This is time where we adjust our lives. And I don't need to tell you. And I don't need to tell myself the changes that I need to make. We have to be honest with ourselves. Adjust our lives accordingly. He says, What I say to you, I say to all, watch. Be watchful. Be vigilant. Be sober. Be living as one that does not know their last minute, their last day. As we come to the end of the Coptic year, we are reminded to live our days as, as those that are ready to receive our Savior. That when He comes or He calls on me, whether because it's because of the end of the world or because it's the end of my world, that when He calls, He says, Come you blessed of my Father and inherit the kingdom. I wonder what the heart of somebody who thinks they may not live very long would begin to think. How would they pray? But Abuna, yeah, I mean, I pray, I come to church, I take communion, I confess once a month, once every two months, but I'm not ready to meet my Maker. That needs a whole nother preparation. That's a whole nother level of being ready to see my Savior, to meet my Creator, and to stand before His throne. I want to be able to give Him a whole long list of how I lived every second for Him. Every word that came out of my mouth. Every time somebody came to gossip, Lord, I promise you, I had nothing to do with it. Every time somebody slandered someone, every time I judged another, Lord, believe me, Lord, I examine myself more than I would examine others. I want to be able to stand before the throne of God and tell Him all these things. I did not judge. I did not slander. I kept my eyes pure. I stood before you always in prayer, Lord. We were intimate. At that point, He'll say, Assuredly, I say to you that I remember those days. I remember the wars that you fought against the devil. I remember how you denied yourself. I remember how you did everything you can. You gave as much as you could. You helped however much you could help. I remember. 
to others, he's going to say, Assuredly, I say unto you, I do not know you. But Lord, we preached in your name. We cast out demons in your name. I'm sorry. We didn't have that intimacy. I can't remember. I can't remember if you were living for yourself and doing these things for yourself or you were doing them for me. I can't remember. My brothers and sisters, let us stand before the throne of God and ask the Lord, Lord, as if today is my last day. I want to be right with you. I want to be watchful. I want to be prayerful. I want to be vigilant. I want my heart to be according to your heart. My thoughts like your thoughts. My intentions like your intentions. I want to attempt to make my love towards you like your love towards me. In, this, in the sense where I lay my life down for you, Lord. It is not my life, but it is you. I do not count my life dear to myself like St. Paul said. Let us stand before the throne of God and become right with Him. And be watchful, be vigilant. Not just today, but tomorrow. If God gave you another day, don't take it for granted. Maybe tomorrow is your last day. Maybe the day after. Or the last day you know your friend or a family member. Live accordingly. Live like Christ is holding your hand every day. And you walk every step with Him. And every word that you say and every thought that you think, it's according to His will. And glory be to God forever. Amen.